This part work has been supplied to me free of charge from Diagostini. If you'd like to build along, pop along to diagostini.com where you can order one for your very own. They also have several other part work build up models that you can build for everything from cars to boats and everything in between. So I'd like to thank them very much for giving me the opportunity to build this so you can all watch and see exactly how it all goes together. Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models and a warm welcome to you to issue 105 of building the Ford GT40. Uh, this issue we're going to be, it seems to be a thing that we're doing the thing from last issue. I don't know why they're doing it like that, but yeah, we're, we're continuing with the rear compartment, uh, preparing it to be mounted onto the car itself. Uh, after looking through uh, what we got, the Ford Falcon. I don't know it. Uh, feel free to pause and read all the words if you like. I'll just scan through them fairly quickly. I'm not really up on reading any of that at the moment. So yes, uh, the parts we've been provided with this time uh, are, what, what is it? Uh, rear left air intake. Uh, so that means last time we got the rear right air intake and it's rear right one that we're going to be fitting first for some reason. Uh, and then uh, that's that. So we'll get that done. And then I think next time we'll be doing this one, but the same, but the opposite side. And then we'll be doing whatever it is that comes in the next one the time after some reason they're doing it like that. So let's clear this out of the way and let's get last week's parts and put it all together. So I've got two packs here. Um, we've got uh, 103 and 104 uh, sorry, 104 and 105, uh, which look the same, but they're probably the reverses of each other. Uh, so 105 is this issue, which is the one that we're not going to be doing. 104 is last issue, which is the one that we are going to be doing. So let me open this up, get all of these parts out. And then we'll see if I get them all together. We've got uh, mainly, or all, as far as I can tell on this, plastic parts, uh, apart from some screws. Always make sure you get the screws out of the bag before you dispose of the bag. That's empty, so we can get rid of that. So yeah, we've got some uh, two, sort, two types of screws, plastic uh, like tubing and a surround. Uh, so they are being put onto this part that we've been building up on the last few weeks. Uh, let me have a closer look at the instructions and see just how they're going to go together. Uh, we've got to build a bit up first before we even get to that. We've got this bit which has that bit going on to it. And there. Uh, like that, uh, is that it's going to have to be held in place with screws because there's no uh, no way that's holding in place on its own. Uh, yes, there we go. That's actually with a FPO1 screw. So let's uh, see, it's not going to be that one. Is something O1? That's FD01. This is FP01. FP01 is the one I need because these are plastic parts. So a single one of those screws for now. Thank you. There you come. Come on. I've opened the packet. You just need to escape. Find the exit. Find that exit and escape. There you go. Uh, so one of those. Hold that in place. About there. There's a bit of moulding to the inside of that. Cool. Uh, that will then, oh no, the tube. Uh, the bigger of the two by the looks of it. The curlier one. It's going to go on the inside here. Get that the same way round. Going round here. So whichever one of those is going to fit on there. Can't tell. I can't tell which one's which. Let me have a look behind the scenes, a closer look, and figure out where everything's going to go, and then we'll come back and fit them. Right. 
figured it out, worked it out from the instructions. Uh, the piece goes on the other way up to the way I was expecting. Uh, it goes over there, over those two, like that. Uh, and that's held in place with two of these FPO1 screws. That one on there. That through there. Like that. And the other one through the other hole down the end there. So there we go, that's that. Uh, then the other piece goes on the top and just snaps in place and pushes in place with the pins. Uh, then this bit goes on over here, uh, that way around. Again, this is a continuation of that pipe in the real world. Uh, and we've got our last plastic screw through there to hold that together. And this side, because it's going on the metal framework, you need the metal screw. FD01 screw down there and into there. Well, you know, actually going into there will be helpful, but you know what I'm like. So there we go, there we have it. This is the air intake assembled on that side. I'm pretty sure next time we're doing the same on that side. So that should go smoother because I'll know exactly what I'm doing um, but that bit that's again you're not gonna be able, you're only gonna be able to see once you open it up and see the detail on the inside but it's all nice to add so uh, there we go that's that another issue completed uh, I'll see you very soon or a couple of days time no doubt for the next part so thanks for watching see you soon bye bye for now